Well, we're about to introduce you to a young man who has literally ice cream in his veins. He's grown up with an on-again, off-again love affair with the frozen confection. But he also found out that when you want to follow your dreams, sometimes you don't need to look any further than your own backyard. Meet John Snyder. He used to work on Wall Street. Now, he owns Il Laboratorio del Gelato in downtown Manhattan. Why would someone trade a financial dream life to make ice cream? That's great. Well, let's go back to September 11th, 2001. Like so many people on that day, John's life was profoundly changed. My brother was working in the second tower that day, and uh, luckily he arrived to work a little late that day. And so it was all really real to me. So real, in fact, that after the Twin Towers devastation, John opened his newest gelato business in Lower Manhattan. But we're getting a little ahead of ourselves. Let's back up and tell you more about John's on-again, off-again love affair with ice cream. It began in his teens when he worked at his family's Carvel ice cream franchise in upstate New York. I was always very passionate about it. And even, even at that age, I would want to stay very late and make interesting flavors. Uh, on a few occasions, I know I was there till 2 or 3 in the morning and because uh, I'd want to make sure we had something more interesting for the next day. While traveling in Italy at age 19, he discovered the joys of gelato. And the Italians, they, they tend to do a few different things with their ice creams. They tend to use more milk and less cream. They don't whip it up as much as American producers tend to. And they also intensely flavor their ice cream. He came home, and being the whiz kid he was, he started the Chow Bella Gelato Company. I was driven. I was driven to, uh, to, to get it done and to bring this product to New York. Although Chow Bella was doing well, it wasn't the dream job John thought it would be. He wanted a different life, and the lure of Wall Street overtook him. So he sold Chow Bella, used the money to go to college, and joined the financial world. But be careful for what you wish. John wasn't happy on Wall Street, and September 11th made that even more clear. John's passion is ice cream. And in the shadow of the Twin Towers, Il Laboratorio del Gelato was born. John, tell me about the, the concept of an ice cream laboratory. <laughs> The initial inspiration for the business here was really to be a lab, a custom lab, where chefs could come. What we do here is, is provide the expertise. Chefs bring their flavor ideas to John, so he makes their dreams a reality, manufacturing their ice cream in his shop. Maureen Meehan of the Five Points Restaurant is just one of many folks who've consulted with John. He's very hands-on. He like, discusses the flavors with you. He discusses whether they're selling. He discusses what you would like to work toward, like if there's flavors that you want to see that he doesn't have. He's very, very involved in his product, which is really, really rare and nice. John's philosophy for making gelato? Keep it simple. He uses only the freshest fruits, from rich red raspberries pureed in the lab to remove the seeds, to apples that John peels himself. His gelato's base is a special mixture of milk and cream from a local dairy and sugar. I'm very much a purist, mm -hmm. um, and the flavors that I'm more interested in doing are really the pure flavors. I'm very proud of our vanilla, our dark chocolate, our mm -hmm. pistachio. Being a purist myself, I, of course, had to try. Ooh. I'm going to help make right. some raspberry cassis right. gelato. Mm. First into the machine, the milk base, which starts to freeze. Next, the fresh raspberries. Then, I push the magic button. Finally, that syrupy black currant liqueur, cassis. But how much? Well, that's something that comes with some experience. Uh, uh, what, uh, what kind of experience? Uh, exactly. Uh, <laughs> experience making ice cream or experience uh, drinking. You don't want to add too much liqueur because the, the, we, we don't burn off the alcohol, so it, it, it inhibits the freezing. 12 minutes later, we have a winner. Wow, that's good. And it's great because you got the raspberry, the cassis, but it, the cassis isn't overpowering. No, it's a great it's balance. Yeah. In, First time in, out of the box. Cassis is there, and you can definitely taste it. Yeah. It has the undertones of cassis, but... And it is so rich. I mean, it's just got such a great feel in your mouth. Wow. So that's it. See how easy it was? Piece of cake. I just need a $25,000 ice cream maker at home. And John. <laughs> El Laboratorio del Gelato is not just a place for chefs to come for inspiration. It's also open to folks like you and me. People come from all over because the gelato is just that good. Well, I've got mango. 
First of all, you don't often find mango ice cream. And I came all the way from Albany to test this. I love gelato. I love it. People who visit Lower Manhattan get more than just an excellent, tasty gelato. They get to share a dream. I think it evokes memories in people of their childhood. There you go. It's amazing to me the, the passion that people have about ice cream. It's such a simple pleasure. 